My name is Jalen Hines. Today, I'm going to be talking about global warming. Global warming is a slow increase in the temperature of Earth atmosphere. Basic causes of global warming are increased levels of carbon dioxide and other pollutants, also known as greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases emissions are released into the air, causing air temperatures to increase. This causes more moisture to evaporate from the land, lakes, and rivers. The causes of global warming normally comes from heat going in and out of the atmosphere, which causes it really hard to breathe and temperatures to rise. The carbon dioxide, when the carbon dioxide, when the is happens, is insulated to the earth and the atmosphere, which makes it even hotter, and it's harder to breathe on the on earth. Even though carbon dioxide is dense to the atmosphere and heat rarely gets out of it, it still makes it real hot and hard for you to breathe on earth far as you really thinking it's hotter and that's harder to breathe than it really is. Humans working in factories produce large amounts of carbon dioxide by burning coal and emitting gas. I mean, and gas emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Um, today we have a lot of problems with global warming. One of the biggest problems is that when sometimes the global warming get real hot, so it causes like big blocks of ice to build into the ocean causing the uh, causing the sea level to rise. So places like, places that's on the coastal line often gets flooded and they often have to evacuate their town. Oceans are warming, causing seawater to expand and ice, melt, causing the water to rise way above the level. And as a result of the ocean rising, over the next couple of years, we'll roughly rise about one to four feet. Global warming releases CO2 into the atmosphere. The CO2 that is released builds up with uh, heat accumulation and other chemicals to form a CO2 layer in the Earth's atmosphere. Solutions to global warming can start with the three R's, reduce, reuse, or recycle. Blue recycling bins have been placed all over the United States of America. So instead of throwing your Snickers and water bottles on the ground or in trash cans, place them in a blue recycling bin. This can be something small that can have a major impact. Solutions to global warming include expanding the use of renewable energy and transforming our system to our energy systems to cleaner and less uh, coal and fossil fuel uh, dependent companies. Another solution for global warming has to do with our vehicles. Increasing vehicle fuel efficiency is a major step in slowing down global warming. Driving cars such as Tesla and other cars that um, run on solar power stop CO2 releasing in all of our There are many other ways of transportation that anybody can take action to stop global warming. Transportation such as walking, biking, taking the subway will help to reduce global warming. Another solution is tropical deforestation. Tropical deforestation will dramatically decrease global warming if we stop it. As tropical deforestation accounts for roughly 10% of the world's heat trapping emissions, we need to stop. This is equivalent to roughly 600 million average cars in the United States and the emission that they release. Throughout this video, we have presented many different small solutions that an average any day human can make. These small steps will stop from destroying our planet and can be taken by action by anybody. Global warming is a topic of interest because it is a problem worldwide and everyone is affected by it. Global warming, even though some are affected more than others, global warming is always affecting somebody. Global warming is something that every human can somehow help to decrease. Everybody can contribute and do their part. As humans, we have developed unhealthy living habits that are slowly destroying our world.